Okay, hello people. A quick video before I leave home this evening. And first, let me tell you some experiences about this new mill. I have used it quite a bit so far and I know, know a little bit more about it. And to start with, this is a great mill. I really like it. And it has everything and even a little bit more than I like or than I need. Uh, but let's discuss a few problems with it. Of course the first one is the z-axis scale which is still at my home. I have fixed the broken wire in it but I still have to put it back together and bring it here and attach it to the mill. <laughs> And I hope it should be fine. No more error. And what's more, uh, when I first went to see this mill, I already knew that it has a stripped gear in here. So when I turn this handle, it's skipping. So I'll have to find or make a new gear. But that really doesn't matter because I can just as well use this handle right here. And what other problems? Yes, um, the knee is leaking oil pretty badly. Well, it is leaking. It has a noticeable leak. I'll have to see where that comes from. But at least the oil is flowing and it seems to be working great. But I'll have to take a look at the oil leak. I think some of the gaskets may be bad because this it looks like they have been opened maybe for quite a few times. And I still haven't trumped the head but I think I should do it. But so far I haven't done any so critical jobs that would require, require perfect trimming. And what I've been doing lately is these parts. Something like this. Just a big U-shaped gap. Where's my sample piece? Here you can see my sample piece. And this will be like the sample piece. With the exception that I have made three of these and, and each of these holes is 5mm bigger. So I mean this diameter is 5mm bigger. And I will drill these holes and I will also to this relief in here and maybe this angle too. This angle is not critical so I might even do that with an angle grinder. But I think I'm gonna machine it. And one thing that I really like about this mill is how much junk I can fit on the table. I have two vices and a rotary table and I have perfect access to all of them. I can get the center point of the spindle around here so it's pretty far from the center piece of the rotary table. So no big need for resetting. And I can also store the center of the rotary table to my DRO. That's pretty nice. I really love the DRO. I just wish I had the third axis, but I haven't needed so far, needed it so far. The two axes that matter the most work just fine. And what I'm gonna do with this piece, I'm gonna mill the relief. I mean this one, and as you can see, it has a small radius right here too. I'm gonna use my 10 millimeter. Uh, round tip end mill to do it. 
but it's late now and I'm leaving for home. So maybe I'm pretty busy with this project, but I think I'm gonna film a little more about it. And I promised in my last video in the comments to tell you about the late. And the late will be available to be picked up in 9th of June. So about two weeks from now the date is set. That's the final deadline. So that's when I'm gonna get my late back finally. And the carriage is now being worked on and I'm gonna get some pictures soon and I'm gonna post them in one of my videos so you can see them. So there will be quite a few interesting videos to come. In the near future you're gonna see probably about this project and the next one you're gonna see is finally building the Ganty Crane. I still haven't pretty much even started it but I will do it and I probably will do it before I get the late so I can get the late inside easier but we'll see. And some organizing will have to be done in here. I have some shelves already that are just waiting for to be put in their places and all of this tooling needs to go inside the shelves. Huge amount of tooling and everything on every surface. And also I have been promising to give you information about the camera video. So here it comes. Camera number one I guess was my mobile telephone and it was also the camera that I've been using for most of my videos lately. It's this one. It's Nokia 808 PureView. It's a pretty good phone. I like it. And it has this, they call it the monster camera, but I don't know about that. But it makes full HD, full HD video and pretty good quality. I think it's been good for now, but not anymore. And camera number two was my girlfriend's, um, let's say it, high-end pocket camera. Uh, it's not a real pro camera, but it's a pretty good pocket camera. And it only has 720p quality, no full HD. Uh, it has pretty good, um, pretty good specifications, but it's not that good for video use because it just doesn't like to hold focus. And that's actually uh, the difficult focus was the reason that I wanted to buy a new camera instead of using that. And now I have my Panasonic, what's the model? 8CV210. And this is brand new camera. Full HD, 50 pictures per second. And so far I have been filming about one hour with it and I really like it. And I also have a tripod in here. Um, it's a little bit too low, but maybe I can make uh, this part, another part like that, but a little higher. Because to film any milling at this height, the tripod is too low. But okay, and thanks for the comments about the cameras. Um, I already knew, of course, which camera I was gonna use, but it's that it's happy to hear that all of you uh, agreed with me about the best camera. It's clear that most of you know way more about cameras than I do. But yeah, I guess this is all I have to say now. 
also. So, stay tuned for more videos about more projects. Okay, have a nice evening. Bye.